Hi guys, how are you all holding up? Have you been out yet? Everything's lifting now. Um, and at the weekend, Danny was trying to convince me that we should go out and have a walk and have a picnic. And I was like, mm. my Facebook is full of everybody sharing pictures of them going out and doing things, which, you know, does look fun. But also in the background of their pictures, it's heaving more so than I've ever seen it before which is understandable because you know we've been stuck in for so long at this point everyone's just itching to get out but when I'm seeing all these pictures of like I'm like no I don't think it's I don't think it's the right time to go out just yet so yeah it may change because Danny's like come on Helen the kids haven't been out at all since they broke up from school with the exception of Cameron that's got driving lessons starting but yeah you're right darling yeah. Want a nice pole or something? Yeah. <laughs> They're just lucky they've got the garden. In and out of that garden. In and out of that garden. Ain't ya? Yeah. <laughs> Is it nice and warm out there? Yeah. Come. That's why that's been inside. I want to cool down. You want to cool down? Come show me what ice pole you're having. Ugh. Ugh. Liam doesn't really like this one. He doesn't like that one. That one's mint. Come show him. Mint, but it has chocolate, so in it has mint. Then the second, the third layer is chocolate. Yeah, I'm sure. Isn't it? I don't really like my mint ice cream either. It's really minty. Ooh. Well then. Enjoy. <gasps> State of him. He's only been out there a little while. He's grass stains on his knees. Always in their grass stains on their knees, right? <laughs> so yeah I do feel bad for them not going out at all I'm just lucky we've got garden like I said because then they can uh, run their energy off out there and there are things like I've been looking online at pond plants I've ordered one pond plant because my pond needs more plants because um, then that will also help with like, the blanket weed situation because then the plants will take the excess nutrients out of the water. Apparently that's what I've read. So really I'd love to go to a garden centre and pick out some lovely plants. But I'm not doing that obviously, so I'm looking online and trying to figure out what plants to buy and stuff like that. So yeah, it's really... But then again, I know friends that are going to garden centres and, and this would be normally a time where I'd be filling my garden full of new plants and things like that. I think I'm just more hesitant than the average person because it seems like everyone else is ready to move on and I'm just at the back like mm, let me just gauge the situation for a little longer <laughs> yeah so yeah let me know how are you feeling at this point where they're saying we've come to the other end of the peak but we still need to be very careful we don't cause another one and are you going out are you like yes we're through it or are you like me and really scared to go out? Yeah, me and Danny were talking last night about mentally what it's been like going through it from the beginning when I think most of us can say we were like, is it that bad? <laughs> and then going from, oh my God, petrified to then being like, mm, I'm not sure anymore. Do we go out? Don't we go out? So yeah, it's been a lot. And it's also really good to document it like because in years time we can look back and think how we coped with it and look and and, and remember it and remember what it was really like. Cameron's all ready for his driving lesson. Mm -hmm. Bless him. Gotta stay safe boys. Yeah. So you've already had one and it went really well didn't it? Yeah. Considering you haven't driven in two months. Yeah. Two months. Straight back into it. So hopefully they start bringing the test back out. Yeah, I've always been saying that I should uh, book the test again. Yeah, we haven't had any emails or anything. No, no, no. But as soon as they bring them out, we'll book your test. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Best of luck on your lesson. <laughs> your mask matches your top. Oh yeah. <laughs> Hi guys, so one of my pond plants came and I need to get it in as soon as possible. It's not something you can kind of wait on because it needs to be in water. Um, it's meant to have a really pretty purple flower. 
So I have a plant that previously, for some reason, has died. So I'm going to replace it. And yeah, I'm going to get Cameron to help me because that water is really ganky. It does look a little sad, but I'm sure once it gets put back in, it will hurt back up. Don't drop it. Oh. <laughs> It move, yeah, move the rock over so it holds it in place because what the fish like to do, they like to nibble at the roots and then it ends up knocking them over so you have to pull it so it won't wiggle. Yeah? Yeah. Thank you, darling. Yay! I've got no buds yet on my lily. I'm sure. Actually, I have actually one. One right there. And that's got the prettiest little white flowers. So in here I had forget-me-nots, which have started to die back now. These ones are absolutely gone. Um, so I need to work that. And then this side as well. This grass has died off. And then I had other things in here that's no longer here so I'm gonna tidy this up and plant some seeds in here again and get me some multi-purpose compost so I'm going to be using that in the secret garden he did also get me some landscaping bark I use that as mulch and that just really stops the weeds but I'm not going to get that get to that for like maybe a couple of days or so and then look he got me a fairy for my fairy garden it's just so sweet and then he did pick me up some plants this one's really pretty. This, these colour lilies. I don't have much luck with colour lilies. Um, they don't come back for me every year, which is a shame. I love purple. I love. It's like purples and blues are my most favourite flower colours. Yellow, however, is my least favourite. I like the leaves with the dots on them. They're cute. Yeah, isn't it strange? <laughs> I don't particularly like yellow flowers. But yeah, I'm appreciative anyway. So I'm going to do these two um, and I'm going to mix them in together, why not? I was thinking about doing a tier, so like doing this on the top, this in the middle and this on the bottom but I was like, I'm not sure how much this will cascade. It's an experiment, we'll see. So let's just hope they take. And on this one. And then this one. So I'm finally getting around to doing my roots. I say I, camera's actually going to help me. Um, ideally, I did want to put foils in it this time because I capped it the last two times, but um, I don't have the energy levels at the moment to be able to like, foil out through, through my whole hair. Because, I mean, it's one thing when you're doing it on someone else, but when you're doing it on your, your own hair, you've got your arms, like, above your own head, and your arms are really aching. I just don't have the energy. So, I've got two caps. I've got this one, which the holes are, like, really, really, really close together. And then I've got this one where the holes are further apart. I think this time around I'm going to use the ones that are further apart. I don't want to go, like, extremely blonde. So, this will mean that less hair gets pulled through. So, yeah, I'm going to call Cameron and he can help me because <laughs> it's that easy and if you want to highlight your own hair rule of thumb just don't overlap the bleach let's get started some talcum powder and that that helps like pull through so it don't hurt as much supposedly my hair really is probably too long to pull through the cap but um 
No pain, no gain. So I'm just gonna brush my hair back. Let me take my glasses off. Ready? Ready. Okay. I'll use this one that's got the less holes in it. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> I look funny. Mm. You're like a toad. Huh? You're like a toad. A toad? <laughs> yeah, from Mario. From Mario. Is that what you Washington, think? Yeah. Um, there you go. Let go. How funny does it look when it's all pulled through the cut? So yeah, I've mixed my bleach up. And roots be gone. So I washed my hair off, you can see, you can kind of see the new highlights, except for it's wet, so only a little bit. I think that one at the front, that money piece, you can really see that, and that's a nice piece to have. Um, yeah, I'm going to put a toner on now. I generally put a darker toner at my root and then a lighter toner on my ends just to give it that more like... A faded look because I am naturally so so dark if I've got really really blonde pieces coming out from my room I think it's I like to say the word like it's obvious but it's clearly obvious that my hair is bleached but you know what I mean it just gives it that that more subtle look and then also as it does grow out it tends to just blend in more so I get away with it more and for longer I really do miss my dark hair I naturally have really really dark hair the problem is, is those greys. So I either keep dyeing my hair dark and fight the greys and then within weeks you see them like standing out like from a mile off. Or you just go with it and you go lighter and then if you look closely you can see the greys but from a distance they just kind of look like highlights. <laughs> so that's, that's kind of why I've gone lighter. Yeah, so I'm gonna mix up the toner now and I definitely need to do foils at some point because the cap never gets this back bit here and you can see that bit is really dark you can see my my natural dark dark hair but yeah again it adds to it you use all these different methods and they all marry together you know it's like the next day now it got so late last night that I didn't end up showing you the end result my hair takes so so long because it is so dark I literally leave the bleach on my hair for well over an hour and you know it, it just takes so so long so Sherry bless her heart literally just left this on my doorstep just this second you know Danny bought me a couple of um, calla lilies so did she Look at that colour. It's like the deepest purple. See? 
best friend. She knows my favourite colour flower, although Danny did too. But you think you would know why I don't like yellow flowers. Sherry would never buy me a yellow flower. Look how pretty that is. She got me a pair of them. I don't know where to put them. I think they need to, maybe out the front, like a pair of them out the front would look really, really pretty considering they're a matching pair. Yeah. Although I do love daffodils, so I can't say I don't like all yellow flowers because I do. And then she got some sweets for the boys, which was really sweet of her. How kind. I'm missing her so much. Um, from Monday, they're saying that you can meet up, like two separate households can meet up, and um, like in an outdoor space. So, although I am still really, really scared, and Danny is saying, come on, Helen, <laughs> like the whole world's going out now, but not you, because, you know, and he's like, on oh, Monday, you know, let's go to a garden centre. Let's, you know, because I want more fish and stuff like that and pond plants. Let's go and let's just have a look. He's trying to like gear me to going back out because you know what it's like when you have anxiety about going out in normal circumstances and then something like this happens, it sort of reinforces your fear and then makes you even more of a homebody and makes it harder for you to go out. So I'm actually going to like well up. Because, like, the fact that Sherry has, in her own way, been checking on me and dropping stuff off at my door every so often just to let me... And she messages me all the time and lets me know that she's thinking of me. She has been so supportive of me during this time. So supportive. Um, and it's definitely a time where you need friends. I've actually been speaking to a lot more of my friends in this time than I ordinarily would, because ordinarily you get caught up in yourself and you get caught up in life. Whereas now I am messaging more people like, how, how are you, what are you up to, how are you coping and, and stuff like that. So it's definitely, um, definitely brought me closer in friendships that way. But yeah, and it, look, what a thoughtful thing to do for me. The, the sweetest thing, and I truly appreciate it. So yeah, I thought I'd do a bump update because, you know, another week <laughs> is down. Do you think I've got bigger? What do you think? Should I actually show you my skin? We can see my toe. That's my scar from my appendix. proper full-on skin belly shot there. I was thinking about doing like um, week pictures of my bump every week, but because I haven't done it up until this point, it would only be from this point, but um, yeah, maybe. It'd be fun to watch my belly grow week by week. I might start doing that. I think as well where I was so sick at the beginning to actually stand there in front of like a camera and like take a picture of my belly. Like, it was a lot. I, I don't know if I would have been able to do that like week in week out yeah so I've had a couple of questions like um, where is the baby gonna sleep when it's born how are we shifting things around and then I did get a comment about the baby's name someone I have had comments about you know have we chosen a name and stuff like that and I have said in the comments what the name will be and then other people are like getting confused because I haven't said it on a video but I have said it to certain people that have asked in the comments so I thought well I'll just put it out there because you know, that saves confusions of people putting comments like, oh, the baby's name is such and such, and someone else saying, hang on, she's not told the baby's name yet. How do you know the baby's name? Do you know what I mean? It gets a bit confusing. So, firstly, let's start with baby's name. When I met Danny, Danny always said to me that he would love a little girl and he'd like to name her after his mum because Danny lost his mum as a teenager. And so that was something that was, you know, something that he wanted to do so then and then I just had all boys so when I had Liam it was if the baby's a girl he names her or he names her and if the baby's a boy I'll name him so I've kind of had my way with naming the kids and um and yeah this time it's a girl so it will have Danny's mum's name which is Ella but her real name isn't Ella because Danny's mum's German and I can't remember how old Danny said she was when she moved to England because Danny's dad is English he's from Yorkshire or was from Yorkshire because he's passed 
he was in the army, so he got posted to Germany and met a local girl, fell in love, and then had Danny. And they lived in Germany until Danny was five. So Danny moved to England when he was five, couldn't speak a word of English. His mum couldn't speak English. So she has a German name, but her English name or her nickname was Ella. So, you know, Danny's an only child. He's lost both his mum and his dad. And yeah, it's always been his dream to have a little girl and call her Ella after his mum. So he's finally getting his wish. So yeah, that's the story behind the baby's name. Um, it's really, I love that for him, but then I also am trying to make very clear, and I know you lot may agree with me, may not agree with me about naming your children after people that have passed, but I mean, it's a lovely thing to do. It's not something that I would do or I would feel the need to do on my, my, my side in between me having Liam and Ollie, my dad passed, and I think there was a lot of assumption that I would name Ollie after my dad, but I, I chose not to do that. That's not something that I feel the need to do because my dad is my dad and, you know, and Ollie's Ollie. And it doesn't, t for me, it doesn't add anything or take in anything away. It's just, do you know what I mean? So I've made it very clear to Danny that, cause you know what I'm all about individuality, right? Um, this baby may have your mum's name, but she is her own person. She has the right to be her own person. And I don't mind the heart, the, like a little bit of comparison, but I don't want it to be, I, it's, I sound really mean, don't I? But I don't want it to be wholeheartedly like she is the resurrection of your mum because she's not, and it's not fair to put that amount of pressure on a child. So I'm hoping that it doesn't get to that. I'm just funny, I'm just, you know, I'm being real. I'm, I'm a funny soul, I really am funny. It's like you will never see me and my little girl dressed in identi identical outfits because I'm just, that's not me. I'm like, no, nope, I'm me, you're you. We're separate, we have individuality. Uh, um, yeah, I'm just funny, I'm just a funny cow, honestly. Um, so yeah, that was the baby's name. And I like the name Ella. If his mum was named, I don't know, a name I didn't like, I would be like, um, maybe a middle name? But no, I really like the name Ella, so it's, it's not a problem. But yeah, and, and Danny's really laid back and he gets it and he's like, no, I completely agree. I understand that, you know, you know, this is a separate person. You know, it's not my mum and, and it's just, yeah. It's a lovely thing to do, I think. I just, it's just me. Like I said, it's just me. And then, yeah, so the other thing is about where the baby will sleep. Well, for the first six months, I suppose, maybe longer, maybe a little bit less, depending on the baby. The baby will obviously be in with me and Danny. And then we spoke to the boys, and if the baby would have been a boy, Ollie and the baby would have most probably shared a room because Ollie's desperate to have bunk beds. I think it's just a novelty. He wants to be on the top bunk. This is his this is his thing. So he's been saying to Liam, me and you can share rooms and I'm on the top bunk. And Liam's going, oh, I don't want to share a room with you. So <laughs> Ollie wants to share a room, Liam doesn't. So sharing rooms, probably not the one. I am lucky that, you know the room I did my hair in yesterday? I may well turn that into Cameron's bedroom and then switch the kids round because my stairs are in the center of my house. So you've got the bathroom there and Ollie's room there and then my room and then the stairs and then another two bedrooms. So the children that are in this side of the staircase have to walk around the staircase to get into the bathroom. So Ollie's room used to be Liam's room when he was younger and then as he got older and Ollie was born, I put Ollie in that room. So then as this one gets older, it will most definitely, she will most definitely go into that room because it's the closest to the bathroom. And you know, if the kid's getting up in the middle of the night to go to the toilet, I really worry about them walking around the stairs. So Liam will probably stay where he is in his room. Ollie will go into Cameron's room and Cameron will come downstairs. It's probably how it's looking like it's gonna happen. Because that room, I rarely use it. Very rarely. I do hair 
hardly ever. I don't do it as a job, I do it as like a hobby. That room gets used if my mum stays. She'll sleep in that room because there's a sofa bed in there. But if my mum comes to stay, then we've got a Z bed upstairs and I'll just, you know, pop Ollie and William in the Z bed. Cameron can go into his old room and then my mum can continue to have that room, can stay in. Cameron's room is not a problem. Um, yeah, so that's kind of the thought process. And we do, we have always said we want a conservatory. So um, it's just, there's always things that, you know, you save up, but then you find something else to spend your money on. So, and saving up for a conservatory is a lot of money. But one day when I get a conservatory and then we'll have an extra room downstairs. Just because I'd like to have like a sunroom and be able to just sit in a room where you can just see the garden and listen to the rain and do you know what I mean? I think that would be really, really nice. So yeah. <laughs> These plants. She's darling. I live on quite a busy road so I hope you can hear me. I just wanted to show you that I planted the calla lilies. This is my front border. I do really need to do more to it. This is stunning. So I do need to add some fresh mulch. For some reason it either washes away or the birds steal it, it breaks down. So yeah, I'm gonna do that at some point. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one, take care, bye.